every day we walk around and live our lives collaborating with technology. Whether it's a phone call to reach somebody, a session on our laptops to get some work done, a quick conversation with ChatGPT on how to structure our email or to review that code. But through all this noise, we sometimes, and when I say that I mean more often than not, neglect the creative sides of our personalities and our hobbies. Because naturally, they require us to slow down, to read a book we love, or draw, or create, or simply appreciate nature. Artistic ingenuity is embedded in all of us, whether we choose to act on it or not. And nowadays, it seems more and more important to pursue, allowing the mind to calm down and simply be in the moment. Embracing one's own creativity in any way or form and producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. To get on the same page, let's start with a simple definition. What is art? Well, dictionary defined, it is the expression or application of human creative skill or imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpting. It's a translation of a powerful emotion or experience through an artistic medium, allowing our inner thoughts and ideas to be felt and understood by another human on the other side of it. So reflecting on all this, why not, whilst allowing AI and technology to collaborate with us in every other aspect, do we not embrace it more in creativity? Nine years ago, back in 2015, one significant advancement in AI research was automated image captioning, where machine learning algorithms could label objects in images. And it piqued the interest of a certain group of researchers. What if we reverse that process? We could do image to text. Why not try doing text to image and see how it works? And that's exactly what happened. Huge image generation AIs have been created like Dali from OpenAI, or mid-journey or stable diffusion, and they've been open to the public for use on generating their own images and digital paintings. Thus, when an AI generates a piece of artwork, it doesn't develop that content out of thin air. There needs to be an input in the form of a text prompt in order to generate an output. And the basis for all this being possible is data. In these data sets, there exists billions of images all of which have been collected from the internet, most times honestly without the consent of the intellectual property owner. Chances are, if you've shared images of yourself, your house, your moments, your memories, your paintings, they would be used to train AI models. The moment you've shared something online, it's probably opted into the system. And as long as it exists online, it will be found and it will be used in a piece of AI image generation. This is called data mining, and it allows these huge companies to accumulate an incomprehensible amount of data, which does naturally leave a bit of gray area in the legal sphere. Leading to the next few big questions. Is it directly hurting artists who have put their passion and their soul into everything that they create, only for their work to be scraped from the internet without their consent and used to train AI models? What does it mean to be an artist in a world where algorithms can paint, compose, and write with unparalleled precision? How do we navigate the blurred lines between human intention and machine interpretation? Who owns the rights to AI-generated artwork? Can machines truly understand the depth of human emotion? How do we ensure that AI remains a tool for empowerment rather than a force for exploitation? These questions also lead us to the heart of our discourse, the collaboration between humans and AI. Yes, the canvas of AI-generated artwork does question and challenge our notions for authorship and originality, but also therefore invites us to redefine the very essence of creativity. Having access to an image generation AI is like having a strange collaborator you get to bounce ideas off of and getting strange but interesting and new ideas back in return. 
Just recently, we witnessed the unveiling of Sora, OpenAI's latest marvel. Just provide a picture or a written prompt to begin with, and Sora will create colorful scenarios and videos that capture your ideas. Taking things beyond our wildest expectations, it's the first AI to make realistic videos up to a minute long. The power to manipulate reality within a few keystrokes does raise the same natural questions about authenticity and ownership, but also therefore invites us to redefine what we think is real. One day you could use this to turn any idea into a diverse world within seconds. Or maybe you want to generate and make your own movie, a Disney or Pixar animation movie alike perhaps. All of this is not about cutting out our imagination, but rather just gives us a way to reevaluate, putting ideas to paper in a faster way. AI simply echoes it. It allows the everyday individual without many artistic expressive outlets the chance to bring their own ideas into existence, being able to appreciate the new forms of their own ideas whilst actually witnessing it expressed without having to hide or ignore those ideas, highlighting that art is not only something that we create, but is something that we explore within ourselves. To emphasize this, I asked a couple of my friends and classmates around university to give me a prompt for a piece of artwork from their wildest imaginations, thoughts or dreams that they'd like to see brought to life. And here are some examples of what I got generated in return. A beautiful painting of many people ice skating under cherry blossoms in Japan. An image capturing the scene of a grandmother's hands adorned with traditional jewelry picking at a traditional dish. Or my personal favorite, a, a little Pomeranian eating cheesy fries. A painting along the lines of outer space to see how humans would evolve on another planet and what that would look like. A collaboration between vintage America and vintage Africa in the 90s. All of these amazing generations brought a smile to someone's face, witnessing their most inner creative thoughts come to life and allowing them to share it with others. I invite you to take a second to imagine what you would generate or how you would dig at your own mind and see what you'd like to express. For me, as someone who loves to paint, I embrace AI as well to help inspire or piece together ideas for a new artwork I'd be looking to create. For example, I asked Midjourney to help me envision this, which I then used to create this most recent piece, which I was very happy to share. Overall, I think of this technology as an exciting source of pressure being put on artists, working with AI instead of against it and pushing their boundaries because it's never going to be the apocalyptic end of the arts. Instead, it's a field of possibilities, and it is here to stay, whether we decide to contribute to it or not. Mutually working with AI is only going to multiply all inventive outlets within our grasp. Simply put, it's about embracing the old with the new. Thank you.